Well, it's about time I get back to the fighters. Anyway. We? Huh? Hey, Andy? Yes, Boo? Mind if I, uh, do this video? Sure, why not? New year, new stuff. Go ahead. Give it to me. Give us the best first video of 2021 for my channel. Alright, here we go. Lizzie the Ratchet 15, aka Claude. A really good Splatoon animator. Makes really nice stuff. But she also has a lot of stuff with Crash Bandicoot, Spider Rolling, etc. Now, when coming to Super YouTube battles, when designing Claude, we've I feel with her to have one playstyle in particular. She's reckless. She's the type of person that is basically attack first, attack first, ask questions later. So for that, this is going to be replicated in Super YouTube battles. Because I'm a fighter that would do great damage, but if you don't play well, you are pretty much going to get screwed. Anyway, let's go on to our moveset. Entrance, Squid Jump Failure. Now I know what, I know what all people are thinking, this is basically just like Squid Jump in the battle. Well, when she lands, instead of like landing on her feet getting ready for battle, she'll just fall over clumsily. Think about how Crash Bandicoot did it in the beginning of the uh, game where he falls down. Or how Crash Bandicoot did it in, in Claude's newest video. The spiral one. Neutral B. Rock Chuck. This will have Claude basically just spawn a rock literally out of nowhere and chuck it forward. It's a very big projectile that does great damage. But, but at the cause of that, it is slightly slow. Meaning that a lot of players can easily outrun it or even just dodge it. But it does great damage and good knockback if hit. Kind of a little punishment to the players just for not noticing this obvious thing. The rock actually comes from a collaboration that she did. Where Marie did that to Bob. Sipe, Splat Roller. This is basically the Inkling Sipe, and of course her gimmick is the whole little, you know, the, uh, the ink tank. Nothing, it's nothing special. And just like Sipe, this is also nothing special. Uppy, Squid Jump, basically just, yeah. Yeah, just, just Inkling Uppy. W w what else do you want us to do? Now, just met move and just same things. W what's gonna be down B? Is it gonna be a no bleh move like a bomb? No, I'd like to give you all a little gimmick for her, including with her, uh, including with the ink tank. Meet Kraken Rage, everyone. This would be a very interesting move. Do you think of it how it, it's like a counter type move, but with a little difference added to it. If, any, if anyone gets hit by it, they'll be under a status effect for 10 seconds. The status effect is called Rage. Rage is a status effect that is completely new to be to battles. And it works like this. And when you get the status effect, you'll do more damage to the person that gave you it. But you'll take more damage from that person. So it's a little trade-off move. You do more damage, but they do more damage to you. This can be useful in situations where you can give them this to punish them, but if you don't use it wisely, this could ultimately backfire, and this could just seem like a benefit to them. Overall, this is kind of how Cloud did. It's kind of how her play style is. She's reckless. She's her person that, like we said, hits first, asks questions later. But in Super Mario Battles, that is not gonna fly. You're gonna have to learn to strategize with her a little bit more better. Otherwise, you're gonna get splatted a lot. And a lot more funny screenshots of failure. <laughs> anyway, on to the final smash. Prankster Kraken Attack. 
When she gets the final smash ball, she'll swing her, she'll swing a dynamo roller straight forwards. She'll swing it forwards, and when hit by it, will, will be pulled in. They'll then be show like Claude's house, saying of a whole bunch of attacks, rock, rocket, wrecking balls, a whole bunch of stuff. And then it ends with the opponent coming straight, lock game on straight towards Claude, as she then transforms into the Kraken and just launches them away. This is a very, gr this is a very great hitting attack. But like her regular nature, if she misses, you're gonna be left open for a little while. Just like all oh, the semi-final smashes. And yep, that's Lizzie the Bright Show 15. I hope you all enjoy this video. And overall, with Claude's video, it's really nice. I really enjoy it. Anyway, hope you all enjoy this video. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Oh, um, alright. Before I forget, um, there's also one thing we got to show you. The whole little inspiration for it. For the Final Smash. The whole little inspiration for the Final Smash thing. Well, the whole prank thing is coming from uh, Callie's Pink Prank Revenge and a lot of the other prank videos. But we mostly started around this video since we see the pranks a lot. And, but the Kraken and the uh, Roller come from come from, well, the whole cracking thing is something that she could really do. But, from my memory, we seen it, I think I only see, I think we only see it in Lizzie and Rajah's 15 Misadventures, episode 2. How would you, Andy? Awesome, that was, good job, boo. I did good? Yes. Alright! Alright, boo. Come on, let's get some lunch. Alright, I did a good job. 2021, I hope it's better than 2020. 2020 shit.